Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. My name is Arshawn Carter, and for today's video, I will be doing a part two to the last Drake video that I had made. For whatever reason, I completely had a brain fart and totally forgot to mention Views, which is probably the top three Drake album for me and a classic. Uh, I apologize for that. Shout out to my mom for bringing that to my attention. Uh, completely forgot about it. Like I like I said, my bad. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I did. Honestly, like this album is so special. Uh, it's an album that got a lot of flack and a lot of hate when that first came out. And slowly but surely, as time has gone on, it's been an album that's been highly regarded as one of his best. And uh, people are slowly starting to come out the bushes and the cuts and try to give this album the, the praise and uh, recognition that it deserves. Because this is one of his best. Like For me, I've always considered this album a 20 out of 20, no skip uh, project. And um, there's really no filler on here. Every song on this album is brought entertainment and, and I had enjoyment with it. Um, pretty much every single one of these songs is still in rotation for me uh, to this day. Another thing I failed to mention last video that Drake is also really known for is his album cuts. For some reason, there's these high, high quality Drake songs that didn't make any project of his. He did end up putting a lot of them on this um, EP, I guess you could say, called um, Care Package, where he put a lot of the songs that, that was just strictly on YouTube and uh, SoundCloud not on anything streaming platforms. He ended up putting that onto one album and then putting it on Apple Music and Spotify. And um, from that, you know, The Motion, How About Now, Trust Issues, Days in the East, 4 p.m. in Calabasas, like 5 a.m. in Toronto, My Side, like Girls Love Beyonce, um, Right Hand. Like he just has a bunch of album cuts that easily could have made an album and um, easily could have been one of the best songs on those projects. Another a very underrated part of Drake's arsenal that people don't really talk about, or maybe they do, they just don't get enough credit for it, it's his feature runs. Drake is by far probably the best feature artist that you can get on the track. One, for delivery, because you know he's probably going to deliver you a good verse every time, and also just the fact that his stature, his name, if you put him on your track, most likely he's going to be on the billboard, it's going to gain exposure for yourself. And I feel like having Drake on a, on a feature, just a cheat code, you know, just to name a few, like, no guidance. Stay scheming, going bad, uh, work, uh, Aston Martin music, moment for life, like seeing green forever, believe me, one hundred. Um, Drake has so many features, so really too many to name. You know, just to name a few more. You know, poetic justice, uh, effing problems, uh, sicko mode, every girl, like blessings. Who do you love? Like I said, I can go on and on and on, but I think you guys get the gist. He is like the number one featured artist. I feel like the only person that could really, really compete with him is like J. Cole. If you get J. Cole on a, on a feature, you know he's delivering, that's about it. Like those are, those two are set in stone, gonna always deliver you um, a great verse. But yeah, that's always been a, a part in Drake's arsenal that I, like I said, I feel like doesn't get appreciated enough or talked about. He is that featured artist. He could, if it, like I'll just say this, if Drake is on your song, it's officially his. Cause there's no way y'all rapping that man and like I said, he just ha he just puts whatever song that he's featured on in the chill code. But yeah, anyway, guys, um, I didn't want to make this video too long. Like I said, I just wanted to correct my big mishap from last video, as well as to add some things that I didn't really get to mention as either. Um, it's Drake week, baby. You know, we're getting a new Drake album on third on Friday, uh, featuring Twenty One Savage. Should be very very cool. Um, I might even do a reaction video to that. You know, my first reaction video ever on not even on the channel, but just in, just period. Um, if that's something you guys are interested in, in seeing, you know, let me know. Um, I'm gonna do it anyway, but uh, if I get, you know, good feedback on it or whatnot, even if I don't, I'll continue to do it. But I'm gonna do a reaction to that um, that album, and uh, hopefully it's good. I feel like with those two, you know, they're gonna deliver. It would be very, very hard and disappointing if they were to miss. I don't see that happening, though. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Halloween's coming up. Hope you guys, you know, stay safe out there. And uh, yeah. Peace. Hey guys, breaking news. So at the time of me editing, I just got word that Drake and 21 Savage's new album, Her Loss, will now be dropping November 4th. So what that means, I'll just be posting my review the day after, November 5th, and recording the day of November 4th. The video should be out either the 5th or the 6th at the latest, and um, I'll see you guys then. Just want to guys give you guys an update and let you guys know what's happening so you guys aren't out the loop.